Hello, how'd you do? I'm not broken, I'm just split in two. Hope you're fine, ain't got time to do everything you said you would. Frames of the past and the memory of you just come running by. Pictures of sunny days with your smile and the power. I was broken How could they say you made me come undone Now I know that it's okay Unlike my friends, you are nothing like them oh. How could they say I was broken How could they say you made me come undone Now I know that it's okay Unlike my friends, you are nothing like them Good morning, everybody. It is Saturday morning. It is 8 a.m. and I just got home from my workout. And yes, you can see that I am really that sweaty. I burned over a thousand calories at Orange Theory. Like I said, I love it there. You should definitely check one out and take a free class um, if it's in your area because it is a really, really great gym. Very much feels like a community. I simply adore it. But um, I'll be honest with you, this morning I did not did not 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 want to work out. I like laid there and I literally waited till the last minute to get dressed and go. But when I have that feeling of like zero motivation, I just ask myself like, how will you feel if you do this workout? And it's always, I'll feel great. I'll feel energized. I'll be ready to start the day. How will you feel if you don't do the workout or go and you're sitting here awake? A whole crappy about myself, all that. So I find often thinking about that end result of how I feel afterwards helps me get motivated. I also have everything laid out and ready to go in the morning. Shoes, socks, clothes, bag, water, it's all prepped and ready. So like there's no excuse and you can sleep to the very last minute. But um, before I go and get showered up because I am a sweaty, disgusting mess, I am going to make some iced coffee. My recipe for iced coffee is I take a mason jar and literally fill the entire thing with ice and then I do 12 ounces on the Keurig and three tablespoons of almond milk and it's like the perfect consistency. And a lot of you guys asked about our dog bowls. They're Mackenzie Childs um, and so is the placemat. So, Bubby, good morning. Good morning. How's your breakfast? How's your breakfast? How's your breakfast? Good morning. It must not be that good. All right, finish this coffee, get cleaned up, and then I'll give you the rundown for the day. I also filmed all the b-roll for a pen organization film and a summer essentials video that I wanted to post this weekend along with this vlog of course so really excited about that but I'm not doing any of the sit down portion because at noon I have a haircut with my girl Elise and it is 10 no not 10 this is only 9 30 in the morning so I'm just picking up around the house and that's really all that I'm doing right now and having some finishing up my coffee because I haven't finished and I honestly like know I need to eat something but I have like no appetite today so um, I'm not going to force myself to eat something if I don't want to but um, 
Uh, oh, so many of you have been asking about the vlogging camera. I did end up buying the Sony RX100 Mark V. It is supposed to arrive on Wednesday. I'm super excited. So I will have it for a glamping trip that we're going on. If you're on my Instagram, you already saw, but we're going to a glamping campsite um, and we're super excited and you'll be going with us. So we're gonna spend um, some time in July there. So. We're really looking forward to it. It should be a lot of fun. The tents look absolutely beautiful. So, really looking forward to it. Oh my goodness, I just got such really bad news. Elise is sick, so they canceled my appointment. So I was like, all right, let's go ahead and book for the next thing. And her next appointment is July 13th or the 14th. That's just a little less than a month. Oh my gosh, and I can't do it. At least did give me a list of names of other people, so I'm going to look at it and maybe book another appointment this week, but I am so, so bummed. What can you do? Hope she feels better. <laughs> but I'm really sad because look, my hair's sad even. Going on about one o'clock, um, in the afternoon and I have filmed the pen collection video and the summer essentials video and I have to edit them those will probably go up tomorrow and this vlog will go up today but I like a crazy person ordered a planner and um, this is one actually for me the other ones I'm giving away or I've given away to friends as gifts um, I'm gonna give away here on the channel um, and anyway this one's for me I wanted something that was super comprehensive and uh, I came across this one and it looks really great. I have not unboxed it yet. Um, so it is called the Start Planner and I love this box where it says caution will increase productivity. So let's go ahead, isn't this knife so cool? This is my unboxing knife. Do, 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 do. One day or day one, you decide. I love all the messaging on this. Welcome, thank you for your purchase. Meet your new best friend. Go ahead, give them a name. We won't tell. I am loving the packaging on this. Like it's just super, super cute. Um, yeah, I really, really like it. Okay, so. This box holds the planner, and then here it says, Goal crushing time starts now. Start planner. Hashtag start planner. That is just awesome. A plus on the packaging so far. Then there is this beautiful box that houses the planner. Let's go ahead. Says, get your hustle on caring for your new best friend keep your hustle planner in tip-top condition for the year here are a couple things that we suggest always close it from front to back when traveling take extra care by placing in a bag or providing extra protection don't stack heavy objects on or around the spiral it makes them sad Keep in a cool and dry place. Watch out for those coffee spills. Last but not least, you will begin to see love on your planner as you continue to plan and rock it out. It's okay. It just means that you're totally crushing your goals. That is actually like just a really cute, I mean, there's nothing new or earth shattering, but um, I think that's just like a really cute little thing to add. All right, so we got some bubble wrap. Let's get the box out of the way. Not get a hold of this. Okay, so 
So here it is. There's like beautiful gold embossing. This is like a really soft, I can't explain the texture. It is like soft and like almost feels like velvety. There's the nice gold corners, which I really love. These coils are really great. Really, really great. As you can see, it is a thick planner. There is an elastic band on the back, but we'll mess with that later. There's like a little slip pocket. Once again, I don't know why they put those there because they are so flimsy. The little return page. We hope you're ready to enjoy a little introduction. Paper has a really nice texture and a really good weight to it. More getting started pages. Oh, I really appreciate that they put samples in there. I really do like that. I love that they put sample of what it looks like. So this goes into your goal section. So let me talk about these tabs first. So there's a tab for goals and plans and then 17, 18, and then every month has a tab as well. And this one goes from July to June. I love that they have the July tabs on the bottom and then start January back at the top over here. All right, so this is the goal section, big picture goals. Ah, oh, there's a place for a vision board. This is really cute. This year I'm going to has home life, relationships, spiritual, physical, financial, professional, educational, and travel. And then you can break down each of the goals with four concrete action steps. And then there's like a little line. Things are so out of focus right now, I apologize. And a little line for completed. This, I love this. So like there's like a little month at a glance for finances, like total in, monthly expenses, monthly savings, a place for accountability partners for each area, relationship, spiritual, physical, financial, professional. Accountability is, accountability is the glue that ties commitment to the result. Mm, that's a good quote, I might use that for work. Then there's a plans. I love how the cardboard tab has like the overview of how you use that section. Here's a thing for charity and organizations that you donate to or want to be a part of. I love that. Then there is a section for keeping it clean daily and weekly. And then it also does seasons of summer, fall, winter, spring of things that you should be doing around the house and then things that you only need to do once a year. I'm. S Why is the focus so bad is it the angle it is the angle that i'm holding at i'm so sorry gang there's a project section like things that you want to do around the house medical section oh an entertainment section books music movies events things that you want to go to there's also a vacation planner to the airport, what the flights are for that travel date. <gasps> oh, this is so good. Restaurants and attractions you want to go to, to do and to buy. Packing lists, carry-ons, a holiday budget section, a holiday to-do schedule, holiday menu planning and grocery lists then a gift section, then you get to the calendar overview. You have like a quick at a glance, a place to put all your passwords. I really do need that desperately. Scheduling a little task list for how you schedule. And then here are your monthly spread for July. I like that the boxes are really long. Um, because I write small and like to generate lists within the box, so that's really nice. Then you have a monthly mini goal tracker. So these are the small goals for the month. 
You also have this health check, monthly groceries, cards and gifts you have to buy that month, an income tracker, notes page, and then this is what your glance looks like. So the, like a weekend is on one page. So you have like a water tracker. Did you take your vitamin? Did you work out? Weekly groceries. Oh, this is so stinking smart. Then you have your Monday schedule. It goes from 6 a.m. till 9 p.m. Then you have a task list, your water tracker, your calorie intake, you can write right there. Workout vitamin, your top three of the day. Oh, I love this. I love this. Then there's like this little light bulb that you could use for like your gratitude section. And every day looks the same for that. So these are just all your weekly spreads. I I'm in love with this. All right. So then you go through, everything is the same from there on out for the months. Let's see what's in the back. So in the back there is a contact section. There's like a future planning log for 2019. And I also love that for 2019 it gives you the month and all the days of that month. So you can really actively schedule that out. Contacts, the elastic band, another folder. It often said to close it from the front to the back. This feels really, really comprehensive. I feel like it literally has everything that I need in a planner. I know some things are out of focus, but I'm sure you'll get more glimpse on the channel. This camera is on its last leg. I can't wait for the new one to come. But this looks fantastic. I'm really excited about it. And it starts in July, so I could finish my bullet journal for this month and then give this a try. I think it could really, really work for me. I love it. I really love it. And I think it's really pretty. I'm not a Chevron fan. But I really like this, and I wish I could explain to you how this feels. I'm really excited. All right. So, haircut isn't happening today. Like, it's not happening. So, I should really get dressed and be active and do something. What do you want to do? Um, all right. We're gonna go do something. So, <laughs> I feel like I must say something before we head out to run some errands. I am wearing, if you followed me on Instagram, I am wearing like the same outfit that I was wearing on Instagram yesterday and I need you to know why. I literally just pulled this stuff out of the dryer because Steven is upstairs taking a nap and I don't wanna wake him up. Today I am just wearing my plain Ray-Bans. They're nothing fancy. Alright gang, I am going to be driving and singing, so I will see you when we get there. I have heard you all talk about these recollection planners. Ugh, I don't like all the color. This could be a nice option for people. Oh, 7 a.m. That's too late. Huh. They have lots of different cover designs. Hmm. Interesting. Alright. I'm gonna find like a really good velvet ribbon. 
I'm nervous I'm not gonna find it. Definitely needs to be in the gray family. here. I have to go somewhere else. I want like a very high quality like velvet ribbon like this. This is what I'm looking for. But it has to be thinner. Crud. Word of advice friends, never buy your Tombos at Michael's unless you're using a coupon. They're so much cheaper on Amazon. Also, the Staplers are way cheaper on Amazon as well. We are making dinner. Steven is uh, grilling some turkey burgers and I'm making sweet potato fries. And it has taken me a really long time to figure this out. But if any of you have ever baked sweet potato fries, you know that they get like soft and they don't get crispy. And I'm going to share with you the trick to get baked sweet potato fries crispy. And it all comes down to using a little cornstarch. So let me tell you how this works. So I have all my sweet potatoes cut up. I have a baking sheet with parchment paper on it. I have a little container of cornstarch here. I have the oven being preheated to 400 degrees. Now, all I'm going to do is dip that sweet potatoes in this cornstarch. I'm gonna actually move them here to the counter. The key is that you shake off all the excess cornstarch because if you don't, then they will get mushy but the cornstarch gives something for the heat to grab onto in the oven, which helps them get crispy. So I'm just gonna lay a couple in here. You want like the thinnest coat of cornstarch. Shake off all the excess. Now that all the excess cornstarch has been shaken off, I put them in a mixing bowl, and now I'm just going to season them and get them ready to bake. Going to add some olive oil, about two tablespoons. Some salt, some black pepper, some garlic powder, some chili powder, and a little bit of cayenne pepper. Now I'm just gonna stir that all together. Actually, I'm just gonna use my hands. <laughs> the next thing you wanna make sure is that they're not like overcrowded, so I have them pretty well spread out so that they can get crisp. I'm gonna put these in for 15 minutes and then we'll take them out, flip them, and do another 15. So, let's come in. Alexa, set timer for 15 minutes. Okay, so in 15 minutes, we'll flip them, put them in for another 15, and see how they look. You can see where they start to bubble up and get crispy. So we're gonna toss them back in the oven. I'm gonna go ahead and do 20, because um, I don't mind them a little bit burnt. And that will ensure that they're crispy. But 15 and 15, you just have to eyeball it. Um, yeah, so 20 more minutes, they should be done. They're crispy on the outside, soft on the inside. Delicious. The key is really the cornstarch. Make sure you shake it off because you want as little as possible on there. All right, so we're gonna have dinner and I'm gonna call this vlog complete even though it wasn't that interesting. So I'll leave it like I leave all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free, give it to everyone. Until next time, bye-bye.